What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantis. I hope you guys smash the subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. Today I am back at it with my 2004 Saab 95 Aero. We purchased this, we didn't purchase. Somebody donated this car in September of last year. It came to us with 96,000 96, miles. Uh, it's been six months and almost 10,000 miles of driving. So if all of you guys out there follow the channel, I have all of these cars, but yet it seems to be racking the miles because everybody is always using the car. So the last time I changed the oil on this vehicle is when we drove it back from Chicago. That was the last uh, time we serviced it. That was in the end of November, beginning of December after Thanksgiving. So Really, we've put in, we've put four or five thousand miles on the car since then. It's only been a few months. It's the beginning of uh, April, so it's five months. So this thing's racking a thousand miles a month. Um, we, you know, typically I go about four to five thousand miles on an oil change cycle with these cars. So today we're about to hit that cycle. Um, and what I want to do is see how well this engine's performing for two hundred thousand miles. We're gonna measure all of the oil that comes out of this engine to see if we're burning it. And I know for sure we're not leaking it, maybe a little bit like in certain areas, like around the, the, the timing chain cover, but it's so slight, it doesn't even drip onto the driveway. So it's just kind of like a sweat that uh, if all of you guys out there that have one of these cars, whether it's a 9.3 or 9.5, you guys know what I'm talking about. But in total, there's no leaks and uh, I wanna see if we're burning any oil. So let's check it out. We're gonna hop in, it's already up on the ramps. We got fresh oil and uh, I'm actually really looking forward to it. Typically we put 4.3 quarts of oil in the car when I change the oil. So uh, should be interesting to see what comes out. Let's hop into it. All right, guys, so if you're new to the channel and you haven't been following this build, I'll link the playlist up above. You guys can see how we completely restored this car, brought it back to life. Honestly, it is, besides for like the exterior not being a perfect paint job and the typical wear and tear on the rust, the actual bones of the car are solid. This thing actually runs pretty much brand new. There is literally nothing wrong with it. It runs super smooth, no vibrations knock on wood everything works under the hood properly there's no leaks um and just so you guys can see underneath um this was the cleanest uh episode or the cleanest time uh i've done an oil change in a long time no spill anywhere on the floor which is awesome but you guys can ch check it out there's the pan we got our exhaust and our trans you know this thing is uh this thing's looking pretty beautiful under here and uh i don't know we've been using the crap out of this car um Every every day, every week, just driving it everywhere. Long distance, lots of highway. Decent amount of traffic as well. So we've been, you know, I'm speaking for myself. I mean, I mean, I'm, I've been driving the thing pretty aggressively. It's not like I've been babying it because it's got over 200,000 miles. So um, let's let's take a moment of truth here. We have all of the oil poured into this pan. That pan is definitely dirty and has other fluid remnants so whatever you're seeing on the top there is not anything from the engine the uh, oil was looking really good um, so let's uh, let's go outside no let's not do that because I'll get yelled at if I spilt something let's let's do it here there's already stains it will blend in don't tell anybody but let's put the uh, let's put this on top and pour this oil into the car or into this Empty container. Let's rock it out. Oh. 
All right, guys. Moment of truth here. Uh, this is not upsetting to me at all. I'm going to just say this at right now, straight up, for an old turbocharged Saab engine with well over 200,000 miles now and a lot of abuse. This is how much oil came out of the car. Just over three quarts and originally just over four quarts. So knowing that not all the oil is out of the engine because the engine is actually cold. So I'm sure not all of the oil came out because it's thicker. I would venture to say we are about one quart short on oil based on the previous oil change. That is not terrible, guys. Uh, like I said, I have not topped off the oil. I have not done anything to the oil or anything at all whatsoever to the car since the last oil change. So one quart of oil short, which is really, really not all that bad. I mean, if you guys are thinking about driving these things long distance, 5,000 mile oil change intervals, that is a quarter of a quart, uh, not even. It's 0.2 of a court every thousand miles. So that is really, really freaking impressive. Not gonna lie. Uh, I was I was hoping that it was like closer to the four court mark, but you know, beggars can't be choosers here. And uh, that is pretty normal for a Saab or any turbocharged engine for that matter to, to burn some oil through its cycle. So not disappointed at all. If that was like under three quarts, then we would have a little bit of an issue. And I would venture to say we would get probably an oil light on specific moments of uh, driving. And uh, so, yeah, that's awesome, guys. Really freaking awesome. And like I said, we probably didn't get all the oil out of the engine since it's boned cold. And it's cold outside. It was 30 degrees last night. Probably should let the engine run. So, all right, so listen up. We're gonna, I'm gonna wrap up the, under the hood here, make sure everything's tightened underneath. And then I'm gonna go ahead and inspect all four corners, maybe quickly rotate the tires since it's been 5,000 miles since we put tires on. And this thing will be all set to go for the next four or 5,000 miles. All right, boys, let's fire her up. Let's see how she sounds. What a beautiful car, man. It sounds awesome. No oil leaking. Maybe a little bit of the exhaust, but nothing crazy. That goes away after a minute. Everything else is looking beautiful. All right, now we got the idle down. You guys can tell the difference. Things sound awesome, amazing. And then over here, just so you guys can get it on a colder environment, straight piped exhaust. Not gonna stand there too long because that gets you a little lightheaded. But yeah, solid boys. All right. Let's check out the brakes, check out the suspension, rotate the tires, and uh, we'll call this a well, job well done here on the service. I'll update my whiteboard here. I have all the cars listed. Let's see here. The uh, Volvo S60 is now sold. All right, let's get a different pen. All right, so these two cars are gone. This is gone. That's been gone. That's still around. That's still around. That's still around. That's the Saab Turbo. Let's see. We did her oil, I think, at 100,000. So that's got a couple more thousand left. Now we got the 0495. We got all these Saabs. We change we change it now at 105, and we'll do it again at 110 ish, maybe a little bit before. All right, all right, that should be good. Let's put up my new car up there, might as well since we're standing here. Look at this, we keep going through cars like crazy, guys. That's what happens. All right, 
This thing sounds beautiful. Let's get into the oil, the uh, tire and the brakes. All right, guys, we got our front brakes here. We got uh, decent pad left, probably I would say about 60% left, 70% left on the fronts. So that's pretty solid. Let's check out the rears here. Hopefully you guys can see it in the rear. Rears are also about uh, 50, 60% left, maybe a little bit more. So I guess the previous owner had just changed all the brakes before he gave us the car, probably within the last year or so. I most likely before the 2020 year came because nobody was really driving too much, but uh, regardless, they're pretty solid. Um, here's our rear tire. We got brand new tires on there. You guys can see those are wearing nice and evenly on the rear. And here's our front that we just put back here. And uh, same thing here, you guys can see that the tread is nice and even and smooth. Nothing out of the ordinary here. And uh, that is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn you guys off for a second, we'll finish up putting these rotors, these rims back on, hit the other side and uh, go from there. There she be, there she is, no lights. Everything's functioning. Did the other side real quick off camera, check the brakes, check the suspension, everything looks solid under there. 205,300 is this oil change service. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video upload. Car is running good. Uh, if you guys want a tutorial on how to actually keep your car in top shape like this one, be sure to go through the channel, go through the videos. I've done tons and tons of videos on all sorts of different uh, oil pan drops and seals and things like that that go ahead and you know keep the internal engine of these cars healthy I know a lot of people talk about these engines just blowing up and seizing and throwing a bearing and a lot of that has to do with oil pressure loss which is not from the engine but lack of maintenance to some of the internal seals that happen to be inside the engine so be sure to check those out check out some of the oil pan video drops I've done I'll link a couple above here just so you guys can go in there, check it out. I'll link all the parts and everything I used uh, in the oil change and service, do the brakes, all that stuff in the description. So if you guys wanna buy any of those parts and do that maintenance yourself, you can go ahead and uh, do all of that. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed. This car is gonna go forever, uh, literally. Just continue to maintain it like this. And I mean, listen, uh, 0.2 quarts burning every thousand miles is, is actually normal for any car that has a turbo. So nothing upsetting to me there or alarming. You know, if you guys wanna check your oil levels throughout that 5,000 mile interval like I do, you can, you know, if it's anywhere in the middle of the dipstick, I usually just leave it alone. And in this case, uh, we were, so I don't touch it. I don't feel it or anything like that. And you know, three, three to three and a half quarts of oil in there is, is really not uh, low on oil at all. Uh, obviously not the recommended. And again, this engine was cold when we started the oil change, so probably we didn't get all the oil out. And of course there's a ton of oil that sits at the top of the engine in the cam compartment. So I'm sure there's probably a good solid half a quart sitting up there. And yeah, we're, we're pretty good here. So like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, drop a comment. Follow me at Kyle Pantsis as well. If you guys want to reach out to me with any questions, comments, or concerns, happy to answer if I can. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.